Welcome back to my channel. Uh, firstly, sorry I did not get a video up for you guys uh, this Friday, last Friday. Uh, just so many things going on at the moment and I kind of got a little bit waylaid and the project just didn't make it. So apologies. You may well see a few times where I won't get a video up, um, but don't panic. I'll be back. It's got loads of things going on at the moment, so I hope you guys will bear with me. This is just a quick video, but before we start, I just want you to check this out. Kaspersky. Basically, these guys are one of the top cyber security companies in the world, with over 20 years history. In fact, thinking about the future is Kaspersky's job. They should be able to predict what threats await us tomorrow and how best to tackle them. These guys, like most people, love science fiction and crave to see what is there beyond the horizon. That's why their team created Earth 2050. The mission, basically, of this website is to form a solid picture of the future by summing up world experts and other users' opinions. Personally, I can say that this is one of the most impressive things I've seen lately. I'm just going to check out a couple of these predictions, just so it gives you an idea of what this site's about. Let's look at this one in San Francisco. Predicted by Steve Hoffman. By the year 2050... His prediction is, humans will no longer use smartphones. Instead, brains will be directly connected to the internet through advanced brain-computer interfaces. When someone wants to access information, call a friend, turn on a light, or order a meal, they simply just need to think about it. And it will happen. <laughs> All algorithms will run alongside normal brain functions, helping people learn new skills, manage their lives, and perform complex tasks. <laughs> That's so cool. The cloud will become an extension of the, each person's brain, much like our smartphones are today. Except all the information will be seamlessly integrated into our conscious awareness of the world around us. Just check this website out guys, it is really cool. These guys approached me and just wanted me to show you guys about what they've created. It's absolutely fantastic, I just wanted you to check out the link below. It is in the top line, have a little look around, it's pretty cool. You can go on there and you can, you can enter your own predictions as well, which is really good. And then just see if it comes true in 20 or 30 years. <laughs> so go and check out the link below and leave your mark in history. See, this is not very straight this bit of wood uh, I've tried to sand it off with the uh, belt sander to try and level it down but it's actually quite kinked quite a bit so it's unlevel so I'm just gonna these are a bit knackered so I can't really use these anymore there that one's split and they're all different sizes I'm gonna try and make some new feet I don't know what out of yet maybe rubber or maybe a piece of wood I don't know yet but it's a little bit better it's still wobbly.
I also managed to snap this. I'm not doing very well with this. It's so thin and it's just basically ripped that right out of there. Now, yeah, I could, probably could fix it, but uh, I found another one on, the, on eBay, so I just thought I'd use that one. I quite enjoy kind of restoring things um, and I kind of just enjoy doing it really. I've done a few obviously on camera which you've seen um, and I saw this on eBay and I thought to myself, yep, I want to kind of restore this. Did have a bit of a hiccup uh, with obviously the first initial piece of this. I put it into the buffing wheel and it got caught and ripped it right out of my hands which wasn't great. It was either try to repair that one or search for another one really so i found another really old uh one that was completely knackered um and i bought that one and just and then added it to this but there we go what do you think it's actually turned out quite well i think um and you've got the new feet on the bottom i haven't put my logo on there i don't know if i will or not really i could do i suppose because it's now been restored by me i could actually stamp the logo on the bottom but i haven't done just yet but yeah it works quite nicely got the little weights in there um that's it really nothing special i know <laughs> well i hope you enjoyed that anyway some of you maybe uh, i do have a few other restoration projects coming up um, and i will sort of mix them into my channel i won't just do all restorations obviously because uh, it's not a restoration channel but again it's just something different to do i quite like it actually it's all shiny i like shiny things <laughs> 
Well, thanks for joining me, folks, for this uh, Wednesday Waffle Stroke Project. Uh, check out Kaspersky below. It is pretty cool. Uh, and uh, if you want to make a prediction, then please do. And I think if you make a prediction, it'd be pretty cool to see if it came true, wouldn't it, in 20, 30 years. Thanks, Rene, for me hammer. Please check out the rest of the links in the description, guys. Also, I've recently opened up a Patreon account. If you fancy supporting me in this channel and the things that I do, please head on over there and check it out. There are some little perks and things that I'll be putting up, extra pictures, maybe a few video clips of things going on, some behind the scenes stuff. Plus, you get a bit of one-to-one -one interaction with me as well. And I'm also thinking about doing a live stream on there. That would be funny. If you could check it out, I'll be most grateful. Well, thanks for joining me today. I will hopefully be back this Friday, which is only two days away for another project. Not too sure if it's gonna be a weird one or a good one, or maybe a weird and a good one, or maybe it's weird and it's not a good one. I actually can't remember now what it was. Ah, oh, yeah, that's what it was. Well, I look forward to seeing you on Friday. Take care. <laughs>